Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and I'm going to guide you through a walking meditation today. When we think of meditation, we often think of a relaxed person seated with their eyes closed and looking totally blissed out. If you've watched some of my other meditation videos, you'll know that this isn't me. I have such a monkey mind that I prefer movement. Mindful meditation practice can be done anywhere and with anything. With a walking meditation, we're focused on heightening awareness and being in the present moment. So here I am at the park, working my way barefoot through a bunch of different textures. If you want to try this path, it's located at Dufferin Grove Park in Toronto, Ontario. Ideally, you'd aim to block off about 20 minutes of your day, but any time you can allocate to this practice can be beneficial. This video is about 10 minutes long. So let's get started. This is a time for you to explore and connect. A time to collect information about your body, so allow yourself to unplug from aggravations from your day or work conflicts or anything that's on your mind. Tune into yourself. Start by connecting to the sensations underneath your feet. You can stand in one place or begin moving. If you're in grass, notice the moist earth and the slight give that the ground has. Run your toes through several blades of grass, seeing if you can grasp at them. If you're on carpet, rub the soles of your feet into the warmth and feel its comforting effects. If you're like me, on rocks or something like hardwood floor, notice the cooling sensations as you make contact with each element. See what it feels like to spread the toes wide or scrunch them together, or a combination of the two as you mindfully take each step. Try balancing on different parts of your feet. Do you prefer pressure on the balls of your big toes? Do you feel easeful when you come onto tippy toes or transfer the weight onto your heels? What do you experience when you're on uneven ground? Be deliberate in your movements and concentrate on the changes in your joints and muscles as you step your foot down or lift it up. Stay fluid in your body and try not to hold or create any tension. You're walking normally, just possibly with a little more attention than in your day-to-day -day life. Do you notice noises coming from your ankle joints? Perhaps it will feel good for you to pause and circle your ankles one by one, in one direction, then the other, using any support from your environment, like a park bench or a tree. As you walk forward, take notice of the transfer of weight from side to side. Do parts of the feet make more contact with the floor than others? Does it feel different every time you take a step? From the rooting of your feet, gradually shift your focus upwards towards the shins and calves. Feel the contractions and release in your leg muscles as you advance forward. Does it feel good to bend your knees up higher than you usually would? How about comparing your two sides? Does one side feel tighter than the other? And if so, what can we change to make them more balanced? Draw your awareness towards your hips. I'd like to invite you to take a pause in your walk. Perhaps it would feel good to roll the pelvis in circles like you were keeping up a hula hoop in slow motion. If you circled in one direction, remember to also circle in the opposite way. It might also feel good to bend and lift one knee, rock it forward, out to the side, and then backwards. Yoga and meditation is your own personal practice so do what feels good in your body. Explore the range of motion in your hip joints by painting small circles with your knees or by taking larger circles. Then balance it out by moving the knee backwards, 
out to the side, then forward, moving circles in the opposite direction. Whichever variations you chose on the first round, make sure to do them here. And make sure to give them the same attention for the opposite hip. This doesn't necessarily mean the same amount of time on both sides. If your second hip is tighter, it may need more time. And if it's more mobile, then it may need less time than your first hip. In yoga and in life, I always try to encourage people to pay attention to the clues your body is giving you. If I start talking too soon and you need more time, just pause the video until you're ready and finished with the hip circles. Hit play when you're ready. Return back to your normal gait and bring awareness to your midsection. Notice the rise and fall of your belly as you take long inhales and exhales. Feel the expansion into your clothing and how it feels to let it all out. Then take notice of the relationship between the pelvis with your spine and how they move in synchronicity to maintain your balance as you walk. If it feels great to sway your hips or your shoulders while walking, do it. Even allow your arms to swing from side to side as you walk. Maybe give yourself permission to pause in place and create a few gentle twists rooting from the lower belly and then unwinding and turning in the opposite direction. If it feels good to bend towards each side and feel the side flexion and extension of the spine, then take it. Become aware of any tension that's in your shoulders and neck. A lot of us hold stress in these areas and here's how you can let it go. Loop your shoulders up towards your ears in a shrug and release them back to puff your chest and heart forward. Breathe it all out to return to neutral. Feel the inhales fill both lungs and feel an elongation of your spine upwards. Exhale and release. Roll the shoulders back a couple more times like this, then continue walking again if you haven't done so already. Allow the breath to normalize and allow any lingering tension here to dissolve with your out breath. Bring focus to your head and neck. Stack the ears above the shoulders, and if it feels good to move the head from side to side or the neck in circles, do so. Perhaps now is a good time to tune into the ambiance of your environment. Take in the sounds around you, the fresh smells, and the sights. Soften the jaw and allow the biting surfaces of your teeth to separate. Maybe bring a small smile to your face. Relax your gaze, melt away the wrinkles between your eyebrows. And then do a final full body scan to see if there's any lingering tension anywhere in your body. If there is, send your breath there and see if you can relax it even more. To end our practice today, I invite you to think of something that you are grateful for. It can be gratitude for giving yourself the time to re-energize and meditate today. It can be gratitude to your loved ones. It can be gratitude to that stranger who smiled at you or that delicious sandwich you had yesterday. It can be anything you can think of to be thankful for.
Bring your palms to heart space in prayer. Bow your head to seal in your practice. And namaste. The light in me bows to the light in you. Here are some benefits to practicing walking meditation. It calms the mind. It reduces stress and it's relaxing. Helps you feel more connected to the universe and yourself. It improves sleep. It enhances focus. And basically, any benefits you get from a regular meditation practice, you'll also get with a walking meditation. If you would like a written version of this same meditation, please head on over to my blog. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, please share it with friends and tag me on social media. See you next time!